hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of baby vlogs and in this video i'll be sharing my new year's nuggets special recipe that seems like a big word right it's just basically what i've been up to in 2021 what i'm currently doing and what i hope to do and achieve in the year 2021 together i'll be sharing some interesting insights how you can work on yourself how you can actually achieve those goals and how you can actually achieve those things that you've set for yourself so just stay tuned as i bring to you all the juicy details I go straight into what i have for us today i would like to welcome those that are joining us for the very first time if it is your first time tuning into baby vlogs you're welcome you're welcome and you're welcome feel free to take your special seat like subscribe and drop all your interesting comments in the comment section below i would like to hear from you please. number one thing you can notice about me in this new year if you're watching my other videos is my hair can you see how different i look in this video this is my natural head by the way so sometime in may 2020 i cut my hair like the big chop and by june july i went to the barbing salon to cut it off like to cut it. <laughs> so i was looking like plain and as by september i made my hair and guys when i losing the braids i made i made then realized that my hair has actually grown a bit and you guys look at the it is natural so definitely it's going to shrink look at the natural length of my hair my hair is green and i think i intend to actually keep the air and go through the natural air journey thinking that people are doing yeah in 2021 i intend and i am also i'm already practicing up actually positive energy only positive vibes only I remember some people were saying that we should not hype 2021 the way we hyped 2020. Guys, I will keep on hyping 2021. I was hyping 2021 even before I entered 2021. And I will continue to hype it because it's positive vibes only. Remember to stay happy, radiate joy. Don't let anything kill your joy in everything that you do. Try and try and try as much as possible to be happy. Try and radiate their joy. It's not easy. It's not like everything is going is going to be smooth every day. There are days you might actually feel down. But try and remember that you need to stay happy. You need to stay joyful. And you need to dish out positive vibes only. In 2021, hmm, I feel like I'm actually beginning to experience my, like the most interesting part of my adult in, like adult life adulting is showing me pepe <laughs> because i need to actually make certain decisions important decisions that i know that if i make a mistake now it's going to have serious and serious effects on my future tomorrow do you understand so by the grace of god i keep on praying because i'm a person of faith and i hope and i pray that god continues to guide me and guide me actually towards making decisions so i don't make the wrong decisions so that is one of the things I've been up to, like adulting and making serious decisions, like serious decisions, guys. Did you also make a new year resolution? Yeah, new year resolutions. I know at the beginning of every year, most people or almost, I don't, I don't say everybody, most people actually make new year resolution. But in 2021, guys, I didn't make new year resolution. I told myself that maybe it's not for me again. And I am not like underestimating or telling people those who do new resolutions that what they are doing is wrong and before you start judging me or feel like what is she saying i make new resolutions that's been working for me over the years that's also been working for me too but i'm going to share another interesting aspect to making new year resolutions so i realized that i don't need to actually wait for a new year before i start making new year before i start making resolutions or i start um, working on some aspects of my life and I need to make a difference. I need to make a change. For my new year resolutions, I told myself that instead of waiting till January 2021 to start working on myself, that, that was about November, December. I know that's when most people to start writing their new year resolutions. I told myself that I'm going to start working on myself now. Now, now, now. Like that moment was the moment I was starting working on myself. I didn't need to wait for January 2021 before I started making resolutions. I started working on myself to make myself a better person through the process of learning, relearning, and unlearning. Do you understand? So I'm saying that if 
you you if you are a kind of person i wait for a new year for example i want to share something so people actually if you set their resolutions for this year they feel like you don't need to add anything to their list in the course of the year i feel like that's a very wrong thing because in the course of the year there is something you realize in yourself that is not good there's nothing stopping you from working on those things on yourself in 2021 instead of you waiting till 2022 before you start working on those things so that's why i said i didn't make new year resolution and that does not mean that in 2021 i'm not added to my list even fact 2021 like about a week ago i've added to my list of like new year resolutions of things i need to start doing and working on myself that i did not even realize before we entered into 2021 so if you've done your new year resolutions i'm encouraging you to add to your list in case you find out that you need to work on certain things just like new year resolutions i also did not set goals because the goals i had were going to enter into 2021 i don't know how to say it for example i had certain goals that i wrote at the beginning of december and it was going to run for like six months three months in fact some are going to run for a year so when i was starting 2021 i didn't need to set goals like what am i setting goals why should i set goals when the goals are already set in 2020 would also run into 2021 so what i keep on doing is to update my goals updates updates when i feel like i need to achieve certain things or certain things come to my list what i just do is to update my list so there is nothing you don't need to start um, packaging everything and making everything look like it's one kind of serious work if you have goals you feel like you want to still achieve something in 2021 that you didn't write at the beginning of 2021 or it was not part of your 2021 goals it is not a sin to add it to that list don't wait in 2022 before you start working on those things and by the way i actually did a video before yeah i did a video actually um i think december 2020 i'm going to link it in this place so you can now watch that video so you really understand what i'm trying to talk about about um new year resolutions setting your goals like you don't need to wait for it in fact another thing you don't need to wait for the beginning of a new month before you feel like you, you should achieve something some people like it's like i feel like that thing is a spirit of procrastination because you feel like i'm going to do it next month when you can actually achieve it now and you still have the time to achieve it now so i hope you understand and you are learning and learning in this video okay 2020 taught me something guys that man proposed and got disposed we plan we put everything but see how the pandemic actually turned everything turned out somehow you know some of us were still able to achieve the things we wanted to achieve some of us could not achieve and i don't know it's just a, it's like a mixed feelings thing do you understand so that's why i'm encouraging you that even if you could not achieve those things in 2020 don't let them die in 2020 you can still actually work on them so yeah you can still actually work on them yeah in this 2021 you can still achieve a whole lot there is so much you can achieve as long as you keep believing in yourself as long as you keep working hard and before you know all will begin to make all the sense i'll begin to hard up yeah and i say work hard I know you heard you keep believing in yourself you heard all oh, begin to add up but did you also hear yeah, work hard i hope you heard work hard don't just sit down in a place and expect things to begin to work out for you without you doing without you doing something about it yeah the funny thing is that if you decide to do nothing about a situation life itself will do something about that situation for you never allow life to give to you the remainder and most times maybe nothing would even remain do you get make your decision do something about that situation a friend of mine posted something this week about mathematical equation 1.00 is power 365 and 1.01 i'm going to add it in this video i'm going to add the picture of the mathematical equation 1.01 1 .01 raised power 365 at the end of 365 days for example 1 raised power 365 was still remaining 1 because the person like there is nothing ad being added to the situation but if you look at this is one of 1.01 1 .01, if you're a mathematical person you understand all this very well 0 0.01 is like doing nothing it's like doing it's like i don't say it's like you know like you doing just very little very little about the situation but at the end of the 365 days 
that's the way i'm explaining it basically you can see that it has yielded to something really big like 37 do something about that situation don't sit down because at the end of the day life will give to you the remainder and when you get there there might be nothing left waiting for you that is the way i see it so do something about that situation do something do something positive do something do something as tiny and as little as 0 0.01 yeah so in conclusion yeah in conclusion let me end this video in as much as we keep planning we keep doing what we want to do like i said man propose god dispose please don't misquote me and say you would not do anything this i have i have the thing, list of things i want to do with timeline with timeline attached to them basically so always have like have a list of things you want to do like it's, it helps you and keeps you very organized that's why it makes you organized if not life will just come and give you something at your table and you don't have a choice but to take it you know when you're preparing for examinations like physical examinations you know that examination is on a particular day life doesn't give you there's no timetable in life the problem will come Do you understand so you need to be prepared at all times you need you just need to keep yourself organized in 2021 i've tried and i've told myself i'm going to keep myself organized so that nothing will just be eating me anyhow do you understand so you can be stable and you can be yeah you can be stable to an extent yes yeah, so even when issues come you still have that stability and that will be all in this video if you enjoyed this video please like and let me know what you think in the comment section let's chat in the comment section i'll be sure to respond to all your comments and of course subscribe if you think you learned something new in this video subscribe and share tell someone tell someone to tell another person about this video so they can learn like everybody really needs to learn we all need to grow and that is the best way because if only you is growing in your clique how will it look like so we all need to grow we all need to grow basically because i'm talking too much already see you in my next video Bye bye